Well, friends, today let's solve sum of distance in tree problem. An undirected connected tree with n nodes labeled 0 to n minus 1, and the n minus 1 edges are given. The i's edge connects node edges i0 and edges i1 together. We need to return a list of answer where answer i is the sum of the distance between node i and all other nodes. So let's see this example. n equal to 6 and the edges are given. That means node 0 is connected to node 1. Node 0 is connected to node 2, so on and so forth. And uh, we return that array. Let's see the first value. How do we get that value? That means all the distance um, between, uh, that means the sum of the distance between node 0 to all the other nodes. Uh, then we first get the distance between node 0 to node 1, that is equal to 1. And the, the distance between node 0 to node 2 that's, um, is also 1. How about the node 0 to node uh, 3? We know that will be 2. So, so on so forth, we will return 8. So we will get uh, all the other value by this way. Uh, well, the brute force solution will be big O n squared time complexity. And I referred this solution. Uh, and then you may refer to this discussion too. Uh, okay, let's see. How do I, uh, how do we solve this problem? Uh, first, uh, we are given the ages Usually, we will use agency list to represent a graph. The reason is that we can quickly know the neighbor nodes by a given node. This graph means node 0 is connected to node 1 and 2. Like the node 2 is connected to node 0, 3, 4, 5. So the first step is to change the graph representation. Then we get the agency list of this graph. Then we know we need to return distance array. That means the sum of the distance between i and all other nodes. So the size of the distance array should also be n. And I count n, that means the size of each subtree, uh, which in other way is the total number of the nodes in each subtree. In this solution, we will do twice that first search. The first uh, that first search is post order. Uh, why? Because when we do post order, we can return a value for its for a root node. So we can fill the count array by this way. Also, we can fill the distance array. Uh, in some way, that means we can get the in each subtree, we can get the sum of distance from each subtree to the root node because we can always return a value to its parent. So, this is the second step. The third step is to do a pre order to finally fill the distance array in this. Uh, that first search we need, we can fill all the nodes in the tree, uh, not only the root node. So when we finish the post order, we can get the count array and the distance array. This is a given example. This is a graph. We can represent a graph like uh, like this. Then count zero mean equal to six, that means there, there are six nodes in this tree. And uh, count one equal to one, that means we only have one node in this tree. 
count two equals to four, that means four nodes in this tree, so on and so forth. So we can get the size of each subtree. And the distance, uh, we know that uh, we can get all the sum from its subtree to the current root node. So that means after this post order, we can get the real value for the zero node. Because for the node zero, the sum from the subtree equal to the sum from all the other nodes to itself. So we get an eight. And for this one, as it does not have any subtree, so the value is zero. And for the node two, it has three ch children, so we return three. And for the three, four, five, they do not have any subtree, so the distance currently is equal to zero. Okay, let's see how do I get the how do we get the distance zero. We should uh, accumulate all the subtree, the distance of this subtree. We accumulate, uh, for example, accumulate distance 2 plus cal 2. Why? Because for the children of this 2, they have the distance to the 2. But uh, compared to the node 0, they have one more distance. For example, like the node 3, its distance to the 2 is 1, but uh, its distance between uh, itself to the 0 is 2. So we need to add this count of this 2. That means all the nodes in this subtree have need to add one more. That's the important part. And do not forget uh, when we to, uh, when we try to get a counter i, we need to counter root uh, increment by one because it itself count one more node. Okay, this is a post order. How about the pre order? You should uh, notice that uh, after post order, we get the distance of zero, which is eight. Then we will try to calculate its neighbors. So if we try to calculate distance 1, we know that all the nodes in this purple area have uh, its distance between 1 and uh, this node is 1 more than the distance between the node 0 to all of these nodes. This means if, for example, this node 2, its distance between 0 is 1, but its distance between 1 is 2. So we need to add the counter of the uh, color of this purple area. So we add the distance, ro distance root. That means all the all the nodes uh, to the, uh, the distance to the root. And then we add the um, count of this purple area. Because all the nodes in the purple area have one less uh, one distance less than to the node one. So we should add uh, the count of this purple area. And uh, you should notice that the count of this red area plus this count of purple area equal to n. So how do we get the purple area? We use n minus count the red area, which is count next. Then um, all the other nodes in the red area uh, should uh, have one less than Area then to the zero, so we should minus the count next, so that we get the final result. Okay, so now let's write the code. 
in our zero. First, we need a graph. We use a private list integer array, and uh, that will be distance in the private. That will be mm, distance and the count. So first, uh, do some initialization. Initialization. So distance will equal to new int n. And account equal to new int n. Then for every lsn and i plus plus, so graph i will equal to new array list. Okay. Then we change the representation of this graph. So for every edges, graph e zero. Add E1 because this is an undirected graph. So E1 add E0. Then we do post order and pre order. Finally, return this distance. So let's write the post order. We know the root. As we do not want to get a stack overflow, we need to quit at some point. And we do not want to uh, calculate uh, one edge twice. So we need to record the previous node. So when we get this next uh, node, graph root, we will first uh, compare the next and the brief. If next equal to the brief, that means we have a circle. So we just uh, continue. Otherwise, because it's a post order, so we will try to do the that first at first. So post order, current root node is the next, and the previous node is the root. Then the distance, you see this is distance, distance root. We accumulate distance next plus count next, so distance root. Will Accumulate the distance next plus a count next and the count next. Sorry, this is root. Should uh, accumulate the count of the next. And finally, do not uh, forget the increment by one because it is self a count. So let's write the pre order root pre the same thing for every next node graph root if uh, next equal to pre we continue then it's a pre order so we will first calculate the distance next will equal to the you see this here will be distance root plus the count of the purple area, which is n minus count next, and uh, minus the count next. So that will be distance root, plus that will n equal to graph dot length, minus count uh, next, minus count next again. Then do the pre-order again. So we fill this part that will be zero. And the first the prev will be negative one. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.